Okay, welcome back guys to Web Gaming Central and we are back in uh, Game Devs uh, Tycoon and uh, back to what thing I was mentioning in the first video. It's Game Dev Story on the iPhone or Android stores. But guys, I have found a, uh, uh, a, a bridge or a uh, path to success, a bridge, awesome, uh, to success in this game. So I'm gonna actually start off by trying to see if I can remember how I did it, because I already played this game a while and I did find success. Um, so I'm going to see if I can mimic what I've done. So let's actually create, and what I like to do, as, as I mentioned before, is create a go from the bottom up because it's just easier for me so let's see let's go strategy time okay so I think right let's try military and let's give it a crazy name what should we name our game um I do funny ones or something <laughs> lighthearted um uh buzz cap <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it that way. So ten thousand dollars. Let's do the 2D graphics on this one. We can do text based or 2D graphics. Let's start development and now, guys. It may look so simple right now. The game may seem so like simple. As you progress in this game, it gets infinitely more challenging. And I'm gonna show you. It's really probably hard for you to believe with me just saying that in word, but we have to go from this to managing a whole office, managing a whole, everything. Like, you know how we get E3, we gotta manage, you know, how we wanna set up our booth, what, what, what type of booth, not how we wanna set it up, but what type of booth we wanna purchase. Um, we deal with publishers in this game. It's really cool, guys, so stick with me through this. I'm gonna try to move as fast as I can with what I remember uh, in this. So let's just go ahead, guys, and do what we do. I'm gonna skip the tutorials because I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. This part here becomes, it is a system of the way it works, I, for, I gotta remember each one. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead, full on the engine, about this much here. Well, you know what, story, not for strategy, I don't believe, the gameplay is huge. Let's go with... Let's go with this. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, so next, next phase. Okay, right. We know about this. We know. We know. Okay, this one. Uh, no dialogue. Probably fifty there. Mm. Oh, in that area, I suppose. I want to go high on artificial intelligence. And you know, you think about it, if you really think about it, the type of game that we're building, you think about it. Now I know some games have dialogue, think of Command and Conquer, you know, you got the live action cutscenes, but that's not really the norm, I guess you would say. So there's not a lot of dialogue. Think Mass Effect, I guess, when you're, when you're thinking dialogue. So anyway, level design is important. Definitely important with a strategy, but not to the point where we need to put a whole lot of focus and thought into it. So let's uh, let's see what happens. Let's keep moving. Okay, right, 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 right. This one, guys, I'm gonna actually keep even because all these things matter in my opinion um, then again some people may pick different li uh, slide slide setups to get um, you know whatever success but the idea is to get a high rating and high sales so let's see what the reviewers are gonna give me for my game mind you we're starting out right now so um, the higher these scores technology and design the better uh, yeah, 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 tutorial. I do not want the tutorials going right now. Let's see, can I turn those off? Let me save, first of all. Uh, tutorials, no, no choice in the matter. Let's turn that off. And you know, it's funny because I think that's bugged, but, um, yeah. Hey, let's, uh, put that back. Okay. <clears throat> so we're finished. Gonna squash those bugs and finish the project. Let's see what we get on the score. Yes, we do gain experience. Yay, woohoo, like an RPG. Woohoo, all those points we are scoring. I'm going to keep moving, guys. 
One thing you do have to be careful though is not to spam your games. It, it's funny thing is they will treat you as if though you're doing it, you know, like you like some kind of game companies. Okay, guys, and I didn't realize I wasn't recording, so now I am recording. Uh, so we did release the game. We got scores of six by all four uh, rating companies. Sorry for the, you know, malfunctioning situation there. But we got we found some success, guys. So we have some money here. We're gonna go ahead and develop a new game. Uh, we're gonna actually choose PC again. Truthfully, we can actually get away with choosing the G64. But if the simulation kind of follows the same path, then that might be obsolete sooner than later. We're gonna do action this time, and of course, with action, we're gonna do military. So we're gonna do another military title. Let's call this one. You know what? With action. Let me think that one through. Okay, guys, let's actually go with fantasy. Let's try that one. Okay, let's try, let's see, what can we name it? We can name it Wizard, Wizard, uh, Wizard Spells. I know, very original, awesome. That's me, I'm awesome <laughs> with the unoriginal names. So, uh, now, We're gonna go something like, hmm, give it a little. Hmm. You know, I, I, to me, I don't believe it's very strict like that. I think is uh, it's a range, but I just like to try to see if I can find the sweet spot. But don't think it's just a matter of picking the sliders and you get perfect situation. It, it's a lot of factors that go into it before you guys start to, start to, you know, going there. So it's more of a combination of my skills too, this character's skills. And right now I'm only level one or two or some one actually. So that also plays a, a factor in it. So we'll see. Let me see this stage. I'm gonna go high on the level design. Artificial intelligence, not as important, I guess. Okay. Right, so let's go with that. <laughs> Bust the cap is now off the market. We sold 69,000, well, 69,000 in sales, 9,000, nearly 10,000 in, um, uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, units is what I was trying to say. But the last stage, let's see. Um, we're gonna bring world design down. This is an action title, not the biggest thing. Graphics is huge. Sound, of course. I don't know. I think it's pretty much the same. Not, no, it's not the same, but close to, I guess. Um, anyway. Let's go right on ahead. So those design and technology scores are pretty good for this stage of the game, if you ask me. Squash those bugs. And we get an extra one and two out of those. Awesome. Awesome. New record. Great combo. New topic. New combo. Excellent. 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 Let's go ahead and speed through those. I'm moving up, so soon be level two. Awesome. At this point, I can research some more. Probably want to do that. I can actually get into developing my own uh, alternate history. Oh. Try sci-fi first, though. Let's go with that. While we realize the, let's see if we get success here, though. Okay, that's better. We got a seven. Okay, happy day. Oh, look at there. Got an eight. Looks like my uh, setup worked. Another eight. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What shall we get here? A seven good game. All right. I like that. By the way, guys, we can check out our game history and see what our scores were. So, Busted Cap. <laughs> I'm sorry. Busted Cap was. <laughs> the average rating was six. We sold 10,000 units. Costs uh, of the project was 31,000. Income. Total income was 69,000. 
basically 70,000. Profit total, obviously different between those two numbers, 38,000.9 with 38.9 thousand. Um, average score was a six. Fans 74 a game. We our top highest sales rank uh, was 62. Wizard spells have yet to be figured out. So let's what well, we do have the average score of 7.5, which is better than the last one. So let's see what the sales look like. As I'm researching, woohoo! Ninvindo. <laughs> that was awesome. Dinky King. Awesome. Okay, well, we'll see, won't we? Yes, now contract work comes into play, guys. If you want to do contract work for extra cash, and I'll show you what that is in a minute. Uh, so, what I can do after I research. Actually, what I'm going to do first is do another, another project. Or another game, I mean. Because I like to keep these going. That's my strategy. I don't know, you know, um, if everybody likes to do that. But actually, no, let's go ahead and do the contract work because um, I think we can achieve it. At this stage of the game, though, with my skills as it is, um, I try to keep, do things that are under, really under 15. This is a stretch. I can try it. And the thing is, I like to stay around four or five weeks. This is a little dangerous for me, I think. We go play test. Okay, come on. Now that's really within my reach. I know I can do that without a doubt. Um, this one. Hello, people. Can my mouse work here? This one I would definitely get. So it's really just a matter of uh, picking between these two. 16K, 15K. Both have a penalty of four if I miss, so I might as well go with this one. And awesome. Yes, yes, Wizard Spells has, has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. Right, because that outsold our last one, and that's just in the first three weeks of sales. That's awesome. We're doing awesome there. So we are now broken to the 100,000 range of profits or cash on hand. And we got our 16,000 for that work. Yes, awesome. Yep, thank you. Like the compliments. Let's go ahead and develop our next game, guys. And we're going to do it for, you know, I'm really reluctant, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for this. The genre, hmm. You know what? I had to think hard on this one because I'm trying to remember how I did the last playthrough that I did, just so I can try to hopefully mimic. The <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go simulation, of course. Um, Sci-fi. Let's name this. Hmm. Um. Let me see. Galactic you know what? Warfare. Something a little more. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Okay, for this one, hmm. Let's try my, I think I can remember. I'm really trying to go by memory, guys best I can here but guys this game is so much fun and watch because the next phase once I get to 1 million in cash I'll have the option to move to the my first office where I can start hiring and then really everything can start jumping from there but I like to buy my time and uh, get my skills up as high as possible I think the level 5 is the highest and I'm drinking a lot of juice guys don't mind me please in your ear I'm drinking juice so sorry yet I'm not because I'm gonna drink in your ear again so <laughs> no, <I'm just> saying. <laughs> guys I don't know what is going on with me right now no I didn't have any happy juice and no I'm not drinking happy juice right now I'm drinking real fruit juice yes cranberry juice to be exact in case you wanted to know anyway artificial intelligence we're gonna put at around 50 simulation it is important you know and uh, level design is probably the most important without a doubt if I'm remembering correctly because I play this game so much. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's really a lot of fun, guys. I, in my spare time, I try to play, and then, of course, I played it for, like, until it was blue in the face on my iPhone, so. A lot of the systems are the same. So that's the reason why I think I found success here. This one, guys, again, I think is more of a situation where we, hmm, hit or miss here. Um, 
Hmm. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna leave that down. World design. No, simulation seems to need that, I think. I think. I could be wrong on that. Well, we still, wow, we sold uh, 22,000 copies of that one. 155 in sales. Had to be our best game yet. Nintendo uh, TES. Which, of course, you know is the NES. As you can probably tell by the way it looks. Pretty awesome, huh? So, those design scores and technology scores. Mm -hmm, I don't know. I'm expecting sixes and sevens. If I'm lucky. Let's see. I drank the juice again. <laughs> anyway. Let's see um, what happens. Okay, so Galactic Warfare has come in. The reviews. What are we going to get, Johnny? I am a genius. I actually guessed that. Um, yes. Give me a seven. I'll take a seven. Yes, I will. Give me an eight, even. Okay, a seven. Okay, that's cool. It's cool. It's cool. What about you? Come on, guys. There you go. I would have wanted more, but that's okay. You know, we do what we can in these hard times. Anyway, let's see. Research. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yeah, let's research. Let's stay ahead of the game. We need 50 um, research points for this. We're not going to do that. I am going to unlock something else. Um, room. Racing, I suppose. Let's, uh, not the biggest racing fan, but you know, let's go ahead and do racing. Let's do racing game history now we got a 6.5 on galactic warfare so this is still our best game yet let's see how it performs oh by the way I want to see this wow 100,000 in profit that's a pretty good that's a pretty good situation here all right so let's go this game did rank pretty high oh speaking of where did it, what's the highest rank for this game 23 we were 23 in the top 10 or top 100 so research is complete on the rate racing let's go ahead and develop our next game just keeping the action going I'm gonna go with the G64 but we do have that other Nintendo coming out Okay. Oh, I think the racing will need simulation. That's the best thing for that. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's. Oh, uh, what should we name it? Burning wheels, man. Burning wheels. I'm gonna call it burning wheels. And later in the game. Okay. There we go. Later in the game, guys, there will be options to create sequels to your game. I'm telling you guys, once you get to see it, once you see it, it's pretty awesome. I don't know if you've seen any other YouTube videos about this, but this game, but this game gets really um, fun and deep and interesting later on. Um, we're gonna stick with the 2D graphics here. Let's go. We can even market it after a while. I think we have to. Once we research marketing, we can um, start marketing our games too, which helps our fan base. Right now, we got quite a few fans, which is pretty cool. All right, so for this. Pretty much, guys, is based on the genre. So simulation. This is pretty much gonna stay the same, as the same way I did the last game for the most part. I mean, it's, it is like cheating to a degree, but not really because, well, yeah, to a degree, if you get the system, you can really nail it. But um, it's still hit or miss because it's still a a degree of random, uh, randomness to how it works behind the scenes. So um, these from my experience. So it's not a never a guaranteed good game as you've seen with the last one. I pretty much stuck with it. Now, yep, that's been released. I just messed up my market share, but let's see. Let's see how this game does. I'm gonna leave that the same too. But my scores are pretty high as of right now. That one's so pretty good. Let me actually just take a look at that before we finish the game. The profit wasn't as good, but the oh yeah, this one definitely topped it. It definitely topped it. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, scratch these bugs. Add a few more design points. 
kill those bugs, my friend. Okay, let's release this one. And try to keep the momentum going. And as you can see, the music still didn't, you know, turn off. Because the game doesn't like when I turn off the music. Let's uh, try it again and watch it say, no, you're going to listen to me. So, we got our reviews for... Ooh, that's not cute at all. Oh, well, it's the same. That's six. You know what? Maybe I did have something off. I have to change the sliders a little bit. Yeah, it's almost identical. And I get a six here. That would be interesting. Well, they gave me a seven. Close. They gave me a seven. Okay, we'll take it. Let me see. Yep, got that 6.75. Yep, so they gave me the seven, which helped it a little bit. Let's research. Um, I like to get as many of these as I can. But actually, this time we're going to go with the custom game engine. But, yeah, let's go with the custom game engine. And this really helps your sales when you have a custom game engine. Um, so, just something to know. Because, you know, it's your own propriety, proprietary software. I drank my juice again. <laughs> okay, guys, I know I'm going crazy over here. Alright, so the custom game engine has been researched. Now it's time for us to actually start to uh we can actually create our custom engine so before we do that though um i want to research these two and then we'll build an engine because these things are what you will be using in your new engine so i'll show you what i mean once i get there let's go ahead and uh find some contract work too high right now i don't want to risk it this one pays 17 that's a favorable one logo animation 25k i might risk trying that one 6k penalty, 5k penalty. Let's try this one because the penalty is so low. Um, let's see what we can do with that. That's a little scary. Might not make it. We failed. So now you know what I mean. So it happens, but it's cool. Let's go ahead now and if, well, no. See, these are, so when you're making your engine, guys, these are the things you can choose. But I want to research that other stuff first. So let's go ahead and make... No. This is my first engine. So let's go ahead and make an engine, guys. Let's go ahead and call it the uh, WGC. Whoops. WGC. Um, um, call it the fire engine. WGC fire. Let's call it fire. Let's go ahead and add 2D graphics. The cost is going to be astronomical. Mono sound, let's do that. Linear story. Ooh, definitely want the save game. So this project will cost me 120. Let's go ahead and create it. Hits the pocket pretty good. Right, we'll be able to use it. We we blah, blah, blah. we will be able to use it to create new games. So now guys, I have no income because now this is off the market, but I think it was our best selling game. Um best selling, but not the uh Yes, and the most profitable. Cool. And it scored lower than this one. And it was sold on the same system. It was sold on the same system. Yep, okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, reset. Hopefully we can hurry up because we still get... The only cost we have now is 8000 per week, I think it is, or per... Yeah, per week. And that... Um, I'm sorry, per month. Right, and that changes when you get to the office, of course. But that's a very low month, you know, monthly fee, so we can get away with that now. But um, if your games weren't selling really good, that will quickly put you into uh, a hole. So we have the GC WGC Fire engine; it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and develop a game with it. Awesome sauce! So engine WGC Fire. Now the platform. If we want to buy the license for this which I do because it has a big um, market share but I forgot how well this did it did pretty well on the market I think uh, let's pick a genre let's go back to action and military okay so we're gonna do sci-fi so WGC fire engine TES or the Nintendo <laughs> action sci-fi let's give it a name we're gonna go with um, Laser, laser squad, laser squad, awesome sauce guys, 2D graphics version 2, 
Excellent, because that's what we researched in our engine. So now we get to select it. Woohoo! Now the development costs really took a chunk out of what we're trying to do here. So let's see. We definitely now this is the interesting part, but let me remember real fast what we need here. Hmm. More. Think. Get a little bit of the story and quest. So mostly gameplay focus. And that's huge. Think about it. Action titles. Gameplay is extremely important. If the gameplay sucks, everything else sucks. Uh, engine is important, of course. Um, story is important, but you know, to place a huge amount of focus on it is not necessary. We definitely want to add save game functionality. Uh, linear story. Might as well. You know, why not? Adds to the development cost, which is which is not going to cost us an extra fifteen thousand. But it's okay. Massive success that works very good for us. Yes. Okay, so here we go. This should look this should really do well for us, I'm hoping. Second phase. I'ma move this up a little bit. Artificial intelligence is slightly important there. This can stay down. Dialogues is not as important as everything else at all. We still allocate time to it, it seems, but it's the least amount of time. All right, that's looking pretty good. For the second phase, it's looking really good. This I'm gonna take all the way down. Road design, even though you would think it's important, um, I'm gonna actually go to mono sound too, by the way. Um, it's not as important as these two. This, I'm gonna say, still bring it down to about 75% or so. Alright, so there you have it guys, we're gonna finish the game here, and look at those scores, that's good, that's a good sign, we're already about to hit 20 there, that's excellent, that is excellent. This might be a hit game here guys, it could very well be, let's cross our fingers, oh yeah, has the making of a hit game here, let's see, cross our fingers, uh, this is the leveling part actually, great combo, new combo, bonus which is times 0.14, excellent. We're already level two, by the way. Oh, joystick has been, you know, become available. All right, guys. Let's uh, as I wait for those review scores to come. Let's see here. Let's research something. Let's do the gamepad. Without a doubt. Okay. So now we're in the hole. But we should make that up. I'm hoping. Oh, look at that, guys. That's a good thing. Uh oh. Can I get my first ten? No, I think we're gonna hover around eight. But we're close. Oh, come on. Give me the eight, dude. That would have been so good. Good. Well, guys, we got three eights. That's excellent. I think this is our highest scoring game. 7.75. Yes, I think that's our highest scoring game. Yep, 7.75. That bodes well. Let's see if it translates to sales. Yes, I knew. I knew. We can go all the way to 50,000, but we won't hit bankruptcy. Awesome. Yes, those sales look good. Bingo! Nice numbers. Good, we got the gamepad. See, now, next time I create an engine, I can add that. So, right now, we don't have it. But it's okay. Um, let's go right into our next game, guys. The whole thing about this is you want to make games, 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 games. So, let's think about this next one. Okay, I'm going to go Adventure and Fantasy. Let's try to... Mm, let me think. Um, don't ask. Marlowe's Crystal. <laughs> Who cares, you know? It's just something weird. It's a fantasy game. It could be anything. Of course, we're going to do TD Graphics. <laughs> I love the names I come up with. Awesome. Look at that, guys. We're making some change around here. Okay, recent studies suggest that the increased uh, variety of gaming devices also increase more for more specialized games. Gamers want other kids to the more mature age groups. Up, oh, something to pay attention to. Yes, and you must read those guys because it does have an impact on how you develop your game. So you want to keep an eye on that kind of thing. Okay, so the first phase. Um, I'm gonna bring this down. Take this to around here. And story and quest, adventure, story and quest are huge. Absolutely huge. Target audience, that's the next thing, which will allow us to 
focus on a particular subset of uh, the uh, market. Young, everyone, and mature. Yes, Laser Squad is a surprise hit with players. Nice. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That always bodes well because I get more fans from this type of thing. That's excellent. So, the second phase. Okay, so I think it's going to be more like... Artificial intelligence is just not as important for adventure games. It seems, according to this game. Let's go with that. Let's see what do we have. So far, so good for the second round. That's pretty decent. Uh, last round here. Mm. Let's try this. No sound. Who cares about sound, right? Although it is important, but uh, if, you know, we still focus on it. It's still going to be in the game. It's not like because it's down there, it's out of the game. It's going to be in the game. Just the least amount of focus placed on it. That's all. So these numbers are looking good. Um, ah, Vina, which is Sega, guys, by the way. <laughs> That's exactly. Either Sega or... Um, shoot. Sega or... Yeah, no, I think it's Sega. If not Sega, it's... Shoot. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, Sega. I think it's Sega, yeah. Alright. Um, bingo. Bingo! Let's see how this goes, guys. So this has to be now our highest selling game. So just... Well, not this one. Not Marlo's Crystals. But let's look at Laser Squad. Yeah, it is our... Yep, it's our most, protect, most um, profitable game now. Sweet. And let's see what... Marlo's Crystals is all about here. Uh oh. First 10? First 10? Ha ha ha. Oh, come on. Played it for days, Star Game says. Oh, come on, people. I need my first 9 and 10. Okay, you know, I can live with that for now. Come on, give me the 8. Thank you. Give me the 8. Okay, these are still good numbers, guys. I'm going to, first of all, save my game. It's always a good thing to do. So I'm going to um, uh, find some contract work for now. Now, all oh, those are three-week times. I don't want that. Don't want to risk losing money. Let's research. We've got to stay up on research. We're gonna do the target audience. Let's go for it. First week sales. Bingo. Top ten. We hit ten. Let me actually see what did our last game hit. 14 we beat it out with this one that is sweet that is pretty good that is pretty good Ooh. see the cost of developing this game was high 84,000 cost was a little bit less for this one let's go back and see these were lower much lower so this is pretty good all right so research that for me buddy yep that's a Sega Genesis it looks like or that's Atari. That looks like a, the Atari, actually. That definitely looks like the Atari. Anyway, maybe it's the Atari. Alright, so, um, now. Am I right, though? Atari came out before Nintendo. It just looks like the, um, Atari, but I could be wrong. Anyway, let's see. Find contract work, create custom game engine. No, we already did that, but we will be having to do that after a while. Um, research again, or do I make another game? We're hovering at a good number there, but hmm, let's unlock some more of these things. Uh, let's go with business. Who knows why I chose that? But you know what? Let's go with this. I'm sorry, so undecided. I'm gonna do the joystick. Yes, yes. Yes, looking to become a new fan favorite. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's go. Give me that research there, my friend. Okay, and now the mouse is available. Excellent, might need to use that mouse soon. Uh, let's go ahead and develop a game. Let's see. Yes, we can now target. Yes, and this will be important. So, 
gonna take a quick pause so I can make sure I remember how I did this okay guys so I decided to do business strategy so let's go ahead and pick our engine of course uh, platform and now this does and I didn't really talk to you guys about this but really what uh, system you develop your game for is important just as much as everything else in fact obviously market share is important development cost is also important um, I'm gonna actually develop this game for the PC um, it just lends itself better to the PC so we're gonna do strategy business did I unlock business or did I not let's try this again I thought I unlocked business I did not so let's research that because I didn't do it so I'm gonna research business and then we're going to make another game because I really wanted to be business for whatever reason anyway so here we go so of course we still have to pay our monthly fees we did unlock business now so let's try this again engine WGC fire PC pick genre strategy business now we're gonna do everyone guys we're gonna make it for everyone you can do young everyone mature we're gonna do everyone let's go here name the game um there's a game called big business tycoon or a big biz tycoon um, so I'm not gonna use that one let's use oh yes overpaid CEO let's go with that. <laughs> you know what's so funny if I ever become a CEO of a gaming company which is my plans um, <laughs> I am gonna really look at this video and kick myself I'm sure but anyway you know then again I'm not cuz I would be I would change it around you know I would rewrite the book on how it's done yes I would quote me if you want to <laughs> let's go ahead and make the game called overpriced CEO not overpriced overpaid CEO I like that that just rings anyway let's go and create our game that's always a good sign to get a little extra goodies and technologies bubbles and design bubbles so strategy remember it's still this yeah right in there and story and quest who cares bingo definitely our highest um, grossing highest profit not grossing that and highest grossing actually but also most profitable especially for the cost that's awesome but now we should really receive, get a profit because the cost for developing on PC is very cheap in fact it's like 5,000 if I'm not mistaken but of course the development cost for everything else has to be included into that this phase uh, let's bring this down um Get my notes here. Yes, I took notes just to make sure I remembered how I did it so I wouldn't be fumbling around here and I'm still fumbling around here. But <laughs> anywho, that's not cute though. Just eight and nine there, that, that I don't I don't like that. Anyway. Notes say place these all as a focus. Hmm. Though I will give this a little bit of a uh, nudge that way. It's been released. Master V. Those numbers are okay, I guess. A lot of bugs, though. Not okay. Yeah, these numbers are not too impressive to me anymore. Uh, I definitely want to be hovering around the 20s sooner rather than later. But that will happen. Be not very well in the market ah yeah that's not going too very well okay let's go ahead and release this yes give me an extra one i'll take it let's go ahead and release it let's see what happens now guys just so you know your it does relate when i when you when you speak of the review scores and the sales they relate but they don't completely relate so you can actually have a big game you know as far as um your revenue your profits but have a low score <laughs> overpaid to you and vice versa you can have a very highly highly rated game and not really good you know sales numbers oh that looks great that looks great give me the 10 give me the 10. oh i got a nine i got a nine not a 10 got a nine though but not a 10 
Their focus on engines serve this game very well. Awesome! That's see, that confirms my strategy. See, awesome guys. This game is my highest score game. Has to be now. 8.25. Yes, I'm sure it is. Nice. So this could be a great situation here. Am I gonna break my record? I don't think so. And not even in the rank I didn't. My other game got into 10. 10th place. Let's go ahead and uh, keep going here. Actually, I'm going to end the video here, guys, but I do want to give you a glimpse. Well, actually, I can't. But um, I just want to show you how far I got in my other game, but it's on my laptop, so I can't really show you as of right now. Then again, I might be able to. So, hey. Okay, so guys, this is my other save, um, and I just broke into the first, this is the first office, but I just want to show you that it's so much more to the game, but I'm going to actually go back and finish playing the other one that you just saw, so don't worry, I'm not going to start off or pick up from this one, but um, I just want to let you guys know how much more, and I have yet to, and it's so much more to the, than this, so let me give you a view, guys. So now, as you can see, we still have the option to develop a new game, but now we can choose a medium-sized game. They have small, medium, and large. Uh, large is like their big AAA type games. Uh, medium is ne the next size up, but I'm going to show you some other stuff here. First of all, I have an employee, as you can see here. He's working for me. If I click on him, I'll get options for him. I can train him in different things. These are his skills over here and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail until we play up to this point. I can fire him, of course. I can re have him research some stuff. So his skills can improve uh, that way. Um, and even myself, actually, still, I can research or I can train in something, some area. And as you can see, I'm pretty boss, <laughs> which is why I am a boss. So anyway, <laughs> you gotta love me. Uh, anyway, so here you go for that find a publishing deal. And I just wanted to show you guys this because to me, it's absolutely hilarious. I love these guys who made this game. They're awesome. Uh, so Vani is the publisher name, but you will start to recognize some other ones here. <laughs> Active Visionaries. I won't share who those guys are. Okay. Code Meisters. You know who those guys are. And Electronic Mass Productions. We definitely know who those guys are. <laughs> Sim City, anybody? We love that game though, don't we? But anyway, let's get out of there and let's show you some more stuff. Fine contract work is still in there. And uh, we still have our game history. You guys can see how awesome I have been. 7.75, 8.25, 9.75, guys. I almost scored a perfect 10 on Castlegate. Fantasy strategy. Absolutely awesome. Mini guns. I need to show you some of my names, too. These names are classic. Castlegate, Bombs Drop, <laughs> Laser Tracer, Case Busters. Okay, that's a detective adventure. Case Busters. They bust cases. Um, Mini guns, too. That's a sequel, by the way. And it did horrible. Yep, it did horrible. I Easy Ball, too. That's a casual sports game. <laughs> easy Ball. Bleed them dry. Military simulation. Chase them. Racing. <laughs> Hit me hard. Military. <laughs> Think sports. Strategy. Judge me not. Law. <laughs> you gotta love it. Sword of the John. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm laughing at my own jokes here. That's not cool. Um, got a, wow, we really took a loss on that. Got him Slicer. That game sucked. Wizard Focus. 8.25, guys. That's awesome sauce. Bleed em Dry Part 1. Yes, guys. I released a, a game called Bleed em Dry. 8.5 on the Richter scale. Space Nodes. 8. Yes, Space Nodes. Bleed em Space. We made a Bleed em Dry version in space. Scored a 7.75, but we had horrible profit numbers. Bleed em. Hey, you guys can probably tell, like, the word bleed. Uh, bleed em. Military action for the Game Boy, or in this case, the Game Ling. Did pretty good. Eight. Easy Ball 1. Mini Guns Part 1. Days to Years. Time travel. Awesome. Bullets Hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I bet they do. Uh, Dream Star. Space Base. Awesome. I am MVP. Space Bucks. <laughs> Castles and stuff. <laughs> Foosball for real. Yeah. Shenanigans. That game did good, didn't it? No. 3.5. <laughs> Absolutely great. Space Monkeys. 3.5 as well. Shoot them up. And that's it, guys. That's my gaming history for that first playthrough. But anyway, um, 
let's see, fine pollution do, re custom engine, everything else is still the same. So we're just pretty much just guys just moving along. But you gotta know how to manage these guys. You don't wanna overwork them. They tend to have a meter on the left hand side showing, I believe, it's fatigue. But um, obviously, they have a little game room over here and you know, some other stuff. But anyway, guys, as it is, um, I'm loving it. It's so much more to do. But we're gonna go back to the other game and build all the way up to this. And then there's other level offices too that we have yet to get into. Then you get into all kinds of other stuff like um, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, motion cap, mocap, and all that stuff. It, it's crazy. This game is is crazy. Yeah. So guys thanks so much for watching uh please do stay tuned i'm going to continue the the, the uh, let's play here um of course going back to the last uh save where we were still in the garage and so we can build up to this point and beyond so guys please let me hear your thoughts in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and as always i will see you guys in the next video